ChatGPT just picked the perfect sound bites for my wedding film. Oh my gosh, this is insane. These are literally perfect sound bites. So AI has been everywhere on the news, on your feed, and it can be really daunting to understand and start implementing some of this stuff. So I wanted to make a really simple video to show you how you can be using ChatGPT. Why couldn't they make a simple word for it? Chat GPT for your wedding video business and hopefully save you a whole bunch of time. Now, a caveat for this, it's not perfect and it's gonna get better and better over time. Kind of a little bit scary if you ask me, but um, as you use this, it's gonna get better and better um, as new iterations come out, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into it in just a sec. Before that, I did wanna just explain a little bit about this YouTube channel. So we are an outsourced video editing company, but instead of telling you guys about our service, you can look at it on our website if you want, but we wanted to use our YouTube channel and social media to give you free and valuable content. Uh, personally, I've run a wedding video business for the last couple of years. Um, and I've gotten to travel all over the world filming some really cool content with some amazing people. And I just wanted to kind of give back in a way and just um, a lot of the information that I had to learn took a long time and I wish it had all been in one place. So we're really just creating a space where we can have all the information that we know of and that we hear about shared with you guys totally for free to help grow your business. So that's a little bit about that. If you want to see more of these videos and not miss any, feel free to hit the subscribe button. But other than that, let's cut straight to the chase and walk you step by step how to have ChatGPT pick your wedding sound bites. Now, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and get all your speeches, whether that's rehearsal dinner, wedding day speeches, ceremony speeches, letter readings, anything like that that could be good audio. Go ahead and cut your multicams together with all the camera angles and your audio. Make sure your good audio is in there, that's gonna be really helpful. And you're gonna put that all in one timeline and export it out as audio only. So right here on my computer, you can see I actually don't have a wedding that I need to send out right now and everything from my weddings is on the cloud. So I just went ahead and grabbed an already edited together um, speeches uh, here. So let me pull this up. I'm in DaVinci Resolve. Obviously it works in whatever software that you're in. Um, but I basically just have all my speeches in here. Um, from there was a welcome speech, there was some at the rehearsal dinner, and then there was some at the wedding day as well. So all in all, it's about 22 minutes, not a whole ton of speeches, um, but what you're gonna do is whatever software you're in, go ahead and click um, to your export tab, and then you're gonna go to, there's usually an audio only or an MP3 option that you can pick, and you're gonna go ahead and export this out just as audio. The next thing you're gonna do is go to another AI tool called sonics.ai, S-O-N-I-X.ai. There's gonna be a link in the description for you there. Um, and what this does is it takes audio and transcribes it for you into um, a, not only a transcription, but an interactive transcription where you can click around and play through your audio. And this is what we're gonna use to give our script to chat GPT. I'm not gonna explain how to use Sonics because it walks you through it really easily, but you can see here on my screen, I have my speeches in here. And these are all our speeches, uh, all perfectly um, transcribed. And if you go ahead and click somewhere, you can click play. The thing I've always admired about you. And it's gonna go ahead and actually play the audio so you can hear it too, which is really, really nice to have as well. Okay, so here's the fun part. Now we're gonna go into ChatGPT. If you don't already have an account, you just connect it to your Google, put in a username and password if you want and create your account. And what we're gonna do is use the following prompt. Answer the following question as if you are a video editing expert. And by the way, this is gonna be down in the description if you just wanna copy and paste it. Answer the following question as if you are a video editing expert. What sound bites should be selected from the following speech transcript for a wedding highlight video? Please make 20 selections around 30 to 60 seconds in length and list from best to worst. And then you're gonna paste your transcript in there and hit enter. Now, one note about this is that ChatGPT does have a word limit. I found it to be around about 10 minutes or so of audio, maybe 12 minutes. So what I recommend is actually uploading per speech. Um, so you can go ahead and actually in uh, Sonics, you can go in and find the first speaker there, copy that, paste it over, second speaker, third speaker, so on and so forth, um, just so you don't hit that limit there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is now you have ChatGPT open, you can go into the description of this video, copy that prompt and paste it in there. Okay, so now that we have that pasted in, I'm gonna go over to my Sonics and hit copy here and go back and hit paste. Now you can see, okay, it stops right there. Here you go, Mario. Okay, so Mario was the last thing and they said cheers. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to my Sonics, hit Command F and search for Mario. Okay, so this is where it got to. Cheers, okay, cool. So we know that when we come back, we're gonna go from here onwards for the rest of the script. But let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT does with this prompt here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. And what it's doing is going through it all and listening to what we're saying and giving us the answers. So you can see it's popping up right now on the screen. And the first thing I'm noticing is that these are really, really short sound bites. And while some of those might be great to throw in there every once in a while, I generally want something a little bit longer. And this is the great thing about ChatGPT. We're actually gonna tell it this and it's gonna give us new answers based on exactly what I'm telling it to do. So let's let it finish here real quick. Okay, so while it's still generating, let's go ahead and read the first couple because there are actually a few good ones in here. And this is one here. I've never met a couple who compliments each other in the very special way that Chris and Elle do. Um, there's a little typo on L there. Her name was E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Um, but it helps you get the point. Uh, the next one here, Chris marries his best friend, his true love, and his soulmate. That's a great soundbite there as well. Um, let's see, together with the Statler family, Greg and I would like to take a moment to acknowledge this special gathering of family and close friends to celebrate the love between Chris and Elle. Just seeing the way that they interact with each other and look at each other is confirmation of their love. Another great soundbite. There are so many steps that bring a couple together and we're thrilled that Chris and Elle have found each other in true love. Amazing soundbite again. Cheers to, cheers to many wonderful memories this weekend and a lifetime of memories with Chris and Elle. Again, another amazing soundbite. Honestly, these are great. Now, part of me is like, ah, uh, these are kind of short. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT, give me some longer sound bites. Okay, let's see what it does now. Another thing that we can do too is if we want something specifically about L, we can say, give me sound bites about L. Give me sound bites about Chris. Give me sound bites about their daughter. There's a couple things that you can do to change it around. Here's another great one. Thank you for coming and we just want everyone to have a good time and celebrate our love that we're here and to start this next chapter with us. So you can see there's some great sound bites in here. Let's say pick, pick sound bites about L. And you can see it's literally pulling them up. So is it perfect? No. Is it gonna give you a ton of great soundbite options? Yes. And remember, this is only like the first, let's see, how much was it? This is only the first five minutes of speeches here. So you see a little bit of redundancies because it's bringing up, it only has a limited amount, but for it to pull that many amazing sound bites within five minutes of speeches, let's go ahead and do the next five or 10 minutes and see what it pulls up. So, I mean, it's not perfect, obviously, and there is a limit on how much you can have in there. But honestly, guys, if it came to the decision for me to watch through all the video or create a transcript and read the transcript or put it in ChatGPT, I'm gonna put it in ChatGPT every time because it's literally picking those sound bites so fast for me. So let's go ahead and come back here. And we're actually gonna go to our prompt and paste that. And then we're gonna go in here, copy this, and we're gonna paste it. And remember, we're going from where we left off before. So while it's going through these, let me talk about how you actually get these back into your editing software. So what you're gonna do, let's say we find a soundbite here. Let me go back to one that was a little early here. Let's say we just wanna thank everybody for coming. We know it wasn't easy for a lot of people, okay? I'm gonna take a couple words from that, copy it, go into my speeches here, and then I'm gonna hit Command F and paste. And it's gonna take me right to that spot. So that was actually the first line. So if I like this, what I do is I go ahead and select what I like, and I can go ahead and hit highlight. Now what that's gonna do, once you've highlighted everything, you can go ahead and either export it out as a document on your computer that shows you the highlights, or you can just do it straight in here, but it's actually gonna show you the sound bites. So let's say our sound bite was a little further down. I wanna thank everybody for coming. We can see that this one starts exactly at 525. So what I would do is go back here and we're gonna find 525 all the way back. One, two, three, four, five, 25. And guess what? Hang on, five. Thank everybody for coming. There you go. Pull that sound bite out. Pull it in as one of your good sound bites. And that's essentially how you go from ChatGPT, pick your sound bites, 
grab them within your editing software and have them all lined up for you to pick out what your favorites are for your highlight film. Now, let's get back to ChatGPT and see how it did on this second section. We're gonna read through and find some of the best ones. Okay, this is from her dad here. So I'd like everybody to grab the glass and let's toast Chris and Elle to a lifetime of love and happiness. Elle, you have the biggest heart of anyone I've ever met. Incredible. Life is full of twists and turns and there will always be bumps in the road, but I pray both of you remember to always be kind to each other and to practice extra patience and to talk to each other with kindness even when you're upset. Again, amazing soundbite. There are so many good soundbites in here. I'm not gonna go through all of them because you can actually just play with it yourself for your own film. But one more thing I do wanna talk about is if you don't like the responses that it gave you, literally just hit regenerate response. And what it's gonna do is it thinks, ChatGPT thinks independently every time. So it's gonna come up with a different answer for your question every single time. So if you don't love it, regenerate those responses. It's an amazing way to use AI within your workflow and now have the sound bites for your films. Absolutely incredible. Hope it saves you guys time and I hope you enjoyed that video and feel free to subscribe for more useful tips like this because we're gonna start throwing them up real soon here.